Welcome to episode 7 of my Peptide Spotlight series featuring SS31. SS31 is used to repair and protect mitochondria, the energy powerhouses inside our cells that fuel nearly every function in the human body. By stabilizing mitochondrial membranes and reducing oxidative stress, SS31 helps cells produce more energy, improving cellular energy levels across the body. This leads to anti-inflammatory effects by lowering oxidative damage, supports improved cardiovascular function, and enhances muscle performance and endurance. Additionally, SS31 helps protect kidney function and promote kidney health. Early research also suggests potential eye health improvements for certain conditions. SS31 is a mitochondria-targeted peptide that accumulates in the inner mitochondrial membrane where it binds the cardiolipin, a key molecule that enhances stability and function of the mitochondria. This binding protects mitochondria from damage caused by stress, aging, and disease, and keeps mitochondria performance efficient. In clinical trials, SS31 has shown several notable results. In a phase 1 and 2 trial, participants performed better in a 6-minute timed walking test after just 5 days of treatment. In another phase 2 renal artery stenosis, SS31 improved renal blood flow and kidney function, reducing tissue hypoxia and supporting overall kidney health. In an early phase heart failure trial, SS31 improved heart function in patients with heart failure, particularly after a single infusion. Currently, it's being studied for dry age-related macular degeneration. In animal studies, SS31 increased physical performance and endurance and improved heart function. SS31 is generally well tolerated, with no serious adverse events attributed to SS31 across multiple studies. However, the following side effects were noted. Injection sites reactions were by far the most common, such as redness, itching, pain, swelling, and irritation, headaches, mild transient nausea, fatigue, dizziness was also observed. However, this was rare. SS31 can be administered via subcutaneous injection and has an estimated half-life of approximately 4 hours. In clinical trials, we saw doses as high as 40 mg per day and for 24 weeks or more. In the research space, protocols vary greatly. However, I commonly see daily doses between 1 and 10 mg depending on your health status and goals. I also saw maintenance doses as low as 500 micrograms per day. My own personal protocol was 5 mg a day five days a week for two weeks before I started a MOTC cycle. And once I started, I reduced to 2.5 milligrams two times per week, which I would take on my gap days between my three MOTC injections. Cycles typically last 12 weeks with a minimum break of one to two months. As far as pairings go, I think SS31 could be a good addition to almost any stack, uh, with MOTC being the most synergistic peptide to pair it with. But I put together a list of honorable mentions on the screen. In my research, I didn't know any particular peptides to avoid while taking SS31. I hope you found this information helpful. Thanks for watching.